Hey everyone, I had a couple of requests to show people how to connect a tablet to an LS9. So if you're still using an LS9, uh, good for you. These have been around since, I've oh, been around a long time, it's 2006 I believe. So let's, uh, let's connect it. So what we need, board, router, and first I'll do iOS. This is an iPad Mini 5. It's running iOS, uh, oh, I don't know, what are we running here? 18.32. All right, so you'll need, you'll need this application, which is the Yamaha LS9. It's called Stage Mix. Uh, it's in the App Store, and they have a Stage Mix for all sorts of different uh all sorts of different mixers. So if you're using a, a, a M7 or a CL series, QL series, you'll find the stage mix for each one. So let's start. What do you need? You need a router. Here's mine. I always keep the uh, I always keep the good information on the front, so it's right there if you need it. What else we got? You're going to want to plug in a network cable. And you're going to plug in to the blue outlets, not the yellow, but the blue. One of the four. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Power it up. Get your tablet connected. Um, one thing you're going to watch for, if you're really, uh, you're going to need this anyway. Let's go to our uh, Wi-Fi. There's our Wi-Fi. And we need to find our Wi-Fi address. And you'll see there's our, this is the tablet's IP address. This is the router's home address. And here we got some, uh, this is the Mac address here. That'll come in handy. So let's go over to uh, the app. Now I have a profile for this mixer set up already. So. When you set up, let's go back. When you set up, you're going to start, you're going to add your mixer. You're going to give it a name. You're going to assign it an IP address and a MAC address. Let's go to the one that I pre-filled out. Now, how do we find that stuff? <clears throat> We're home right now. I'm going to go to setup. Tab over. Keep pressing setup. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. When you go to your LS9 app, you're going to type, this is the mixer's IP address. This is the mixer's MAC address. Over here, name can be anything. But there's your IP address you're going to type in. The mixer's IP address, there's your MAC address. Let's get out of this. So if you go to my mixer, there's your MAC address, there's your IP address. These two have to match. The LS9 is, does not use DHCP. So whatever that IP address is and that MAC address is, they have to match. Okay, they have to match. Sorry about the camera wiggling. All right, let's connect. Now it's syncing with the LS9, and here we go. I'll, I'll move some faders. There we go. That's how you connect. Okay, next I'll show you some stuff about Air Fader, which is the Android version. So the Stage Mix is only iOS, only. So if you need Android, I'll show you that next. All right. Let's do this uh, Air Fader. This is a third-party app found on the Android uh, Play Store, Google Play Store. Um, there are several versions of Air Fader, and you're looking for Air Fader LS9 Pro, which is like 20 bucks, and it's uh, it's worth it, I think. Um, the developer doesn't really support this much anymore, but I'm running an older Android. Um, I think this is version 7 or something like that, and this tablet's probably like 2016, so it's about 9 years old now. 
but uh, other than needing a new battery, it's doing pretty good. So um, we're on the same network here as the uh, previous tablet. Let's double check, double check our connections. I'm gonna go to connections. Let's go, oh, we're not. So we're gonna choose the right one, not the FBI. And it's gonna tell us there's no internet connection and that's fine. We don't need internet. We need to talk to a mixing board. Okay. So we're going to go over here to LS9 Pro, open it up. Just like the other app, we're going to have a profile. And in that profile, you're going to see the same kind of things. You're going to have a name, console type. It needs to know what kind of console it is. Either the 16 or the 32, an IP address and the MAC address. Once again, the MAC address can be found in, uh, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Let's try this camera. Your MAC address is going to be found in setup. That's what you're going to enter in. Okay. This is clearly for editing purposes. Uh, this is for editing the mixer that you already have. So I'm going to cancel out. Let's connect. That's going to sync the console, give you a progress bar. The cool thing about Android is the Wi-Fi portion of the tablet is always on, which means if you close this, close this uh, tablet, just shut it off, shut the screen off. That's a dirty screen. Turn it back on. It's going to go right back to, right back to your screen. Okay. So there we go. I'm moving some faders right now. Same deal. You really need to know the you need to know the LS9's MAC address and its IP address. Those don't change. Um, they are not DHCP. And another thing, only one tablet, iOS, Android, doesn't matter. Only one tablet can talk to the LS9 at a time. That's very important. Uh, basically, the second tablet will just get ignored. It may even lock it up the first tablet. So if you need more than one tablet, the developer of this um, of this app uh, has a has a app called LS9 Server for Windows, and you can uh, get multiple multiple tablets. But it is one hundred and forty nine dollars to start. And it's a different air fader app uh, and there is no ios app for uh, this version of air fader um, the ios version has to work with a windows server so let's show you some of the features here so uh, this is interesting so it's blocks of 16. you've got 17 through 32 on your next layer here here's your stereo inputs which I don't know where they are. I don't know the stuff for that. Master. So here's your uh, 16 buses, mixed buses. And there's your matrix. Um, let's go back to channel here. Now, if you want to, sends on fader. You can select what's fader, what matrix you're going to talk about here. Uh, to go home, hit home. You got your mute groups, eight mute groups, which is nice and easy to get to, way easier than on the uh, LS9. And the tools, uh, you can get your rack EQs. So here's, I've got a graphic EQ on the first four racks. So this is the Flex 15 uh, rack. Let's close it. Let's go to tools. You can see your outputs. Here's our Omni outputs. These are the eight XLR, physical XLRs on here. Go back to, you can do a custom layer if you want, which is kind of fun. And of course you can disconnect and all that stuff. So here's our setup page. This will tell you a little bit about some small stuff. Um, turn it off and on your meters, excuse me. Um, yeah, that's some small stuff anyway. All right, that's it for this air fader. I'll show you the iOS version next.
Well, I was going to show you Air Fader server. This is what it looks like. Um, but here's the issue. Uh, we're connected to the correct, connected to the correct um, Wi-Fi router. And here we go. Can't connect. So there is a Yamaha DME driver you have to download from Yamaha. This is going to be some boring stuff. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to advanced settings. You're going to search for the IP address of the mixing board. Here it is. And we've already found it. Search. There it is. That's fine. It's in our device list. We can see that there's our device port. So we have everything here. There's my LS9. There's a, this has to be what the mixer's IP address is and then the device MAC address. There's a device port, one through 10, save and close. So what's the deal? Doesn't find it. Go to config, what do we got? Here's your devices, we're finding the devices. Let's restart the DMA driver. I'll give it a minute. Yeah, so realize this program, this program was written uh, for the uh, Windows 7, Windows 10, to give you an idea how old it is. Okay, the DME driver has been restarted. Let's go back to Air Fader. Start it up. The actual, hey, here we go. Here's the actual uh, app as it shows up. This is the server now. This is the server version, which I'm trying to get to work. Oh, I got some error logs. Great. Still not connecting. Anyway, if you do end up get, getting the uh, air fader thing to work, uh, this is what it looks like. And you have all 64 channels available. And you can connect here and, oh look, you've got some EQ. But what you don't have is any dynamics control. So it's really limited. You know, here's some, here's your head amp control. Uh, mixer, head amp. EQ, and then your settings. Here's where your IP address would be. So there's a lot of information on how to set up and you can set up multiple devices. But unfortunately, server's not working on my, server's not working on my um, computer. So I'm gonna call it a day. Oh, look at that. Let's see what happens. How many did I open? Yeah, you totally watched me do that. There we go. Let's try again. Let's open a clean version here and see what happens. <laughs> anyway, this is all really good technology for like uh, 15, 20 years ago. All right, that's it. I'm going to call it a night.